Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Welcome to the channel. Today, this video is going to be on the top three mistakes to avoid on Instagram. Now, before I start this video, I want to give you guys just a little quick, quick, quick update that kind of feeds into the last update video I did, which is check out this background. Check out this background. It looks way better than before. Channel starting to get a little bit professional. Now, the next thing we're getting, which should be in here in about a few days, I would say, well, actually tomorrow, Sunday. So, might have to take an extra shipping day, but we're getting a mic. So bear with me through this audio quality isn't going to be as good as it probably used to be. Um, my existing mic, the cord isn't long enough to reach. So it's just picking off off the camera mic, but we're getting a longer cord and all that. Whatever. You guys don't need to know. Better audio quality is on the way. Don't you guys worry. And the upload schedule is going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So with all that said, let's get straight into the video. So the top three things to avoid on Instagram, I'm sure you guys have committed at least one of these things. And I, I know for a fact, these are probably things that you've never probably heard of before, especially this first one is something that's pretty new, something that came out with the algorithm update. And I really want to share it with you guys so you guys don't make this mistake and then you have your impressions start getting limited. And this is deleting comments. Okay. The first mistake to avoid on Instagram is actually deleting comments. When you delete comments, Instagram sees this as you're trying to filter out certain stuff on your channel because each comment is kind of a review of your page. So when you start deleting comments, Instagram might take it as that you're deleting bad comments or controversial comments and you're trying to filter out your page and it kind of makes you look suspicious. When you start deleting comments on your page, Instagram will kind of almost place you into a type of shadow ban where you're kind of not letting anybody freely express how they feel onto your page. And that's what Instagram wants. It wants organic growth. And when you start filtering out comments by deleting them, um, you kind of start to go against Instagram's guidelines and what they really like on Instagram. So the first thing is deleting comments. Do not delete comments. The only time I would tell you guys to probably delete a comment is if somehow somebody commented like your name and address and got all your information. Other than that, if you got a hater or something or something like that, just leave the comment there. Trust me, don't delete your comments unless if it's something crazy. The second thing to avoid on Instagram is engaging outside of your niche. Okay, so what do I mean by this? What I mean is if your niche is luxury, you don't want to be engaging on travel pictures or automotive pictures or stuff like that. Or if you're an influencer, maybe you're a traveling influencer, you're not going to want to be going and engaging on like memes or comedy or humor or fitness or stuff like that. Whatever your niche is, only engage within your niche. Again, you, we were trying to get into the influencer filter, right? If you are engaging in all these niches, you're going to either be placing the spam filter or the user filter. So you know, you're gonna have to unfollow your friends. Okay, you can't be uh, following all your friends, you can't be looking at what you know, your boy Jimmy ate for dinner, you guys are gonna have to go ahead and really filter it and only engage with people within your niche. This allows Instagram to know again, Instagram is trying to filter out what type of page you are. And when you only engage with the type of stuff within your niche, it makes it that much easier for Instagram to recognize what niche you're trying to target and they will help you. You have to allow Instagram to help you. Now, this is the third thing that's really going to mess you up if you don't stick to this, if you don't get a consistent schedule. This is posting your content in a scattered manner. Okay, scattered content. What I mean by this is it's just posting sporadically throughout the day. So if you're posting every single day, and all those times are different and varying throughout the day, or if you post every single day and then you skip one day and then post again for a week straight and then skip two days, Instagram doesn't like that. Instagram loves consistency. No matter what you do, always make it consistent. So when you're scattering your content all throughout the day or skipping days, you're never gonna grow at the rate you should be growing. So the best way to post your content is to find a schedule, okay? So if you're trying to go viral, this is key for you. You cannot go viral if you don't have a consistent schedule. You need to be posting at least once per day, at least, at least. Um, I would say the best results come when you're posting between two to four times a day. I've posted six times a day, i posted eight times a day, and yeah, the results are good, but I always figured that, you know, two to four times a day, the results are pretty much the same. You don't really get that many more followers by posting eight times per day. So why spend all that extra time doing it? But you can still get great, great, great results by posting once per day. If that's all you can do, I've done it. I'm still able to gain a couple thousand followers a week from it. Um, the only thing is whatever your schedule is, the most important part is to pick a, pick a day, pick a time that you can post and stick with that. Never miss a day and never post, um, you know, hours away from your intended post. So let's say you're gonna post once per day, right? Pick a time each and every single day that you're going to post and, and just stick to that. Okay. So if you're going to post Monday through Sunday, you know, for the whole week at 12 o'clock, 12 PM, 
you have to post every single day at 12 p.m. If you don't post at 12 p.m. one of those days, it doesn't have to be exactly within an hour, but if you if instead of 12 p.m. you post at 5 p.m., it's going to throw off the whole balance for your account. If you skip a day, it's going to throw off the whole balance for your account. Literally, once you get into the zone, if you're going viral and you're hitting posts like really, really good, and you're doing that for months straight, and then one day you don't post, Instagram will penalize you for it because they like consistency. So guys, those are the three things to avoid on Instagram. If you guys are doing any of those things, start to correct them. It's never too late. You can always correct something. Might take time, might take a day, might take a month, might take six months, but you can always correct something that you're doing wrong on Instagram. It's never too late. So with that said, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm serious. Hit that like button right now. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you're struggling with on Instagram. Leave any type of question you want. We're going to get a mic soon. We're going to get a mic so the audio quality is going to go up. Let me know what you guys think of this new background, and I'll see you guys on the next video.